What is going on guys? FMU here. And we finally, it's, it is the day after the night before. And we have got some amazing new features, in my opinion, coming to FM15. So let's start with the match engine. There's been quite a revamp from what Miles was saying yesterday. Um, as you can see, the pictures in these pictures the pitches look amazing and if you've got a really good graphics card they uh they've really gone into great detail with the uh you know with the match engine the crowds the stadiums you know everything now is geared up to look absolutely amazing you know and uh i'm hoping fingers crossed that you know the the match engine itself is going to be as good as uh, as what they've said it is uh, because they've used motion capture this year um, for those of you who don't know what motion capture is a few of the younger viewers um, and younger people on twitter were like well what is it basically they put these little dots on um, people in this case football players and they get them to do a variety of different moves, shots, dives for goalkeepers, you know, tackles, so on and so forth. And it transfers perfectly onto the in-game character. Um, goalkeepers are going to be amazing to see in this because I'm really looking forward to that. I really am because the goalkeepers, let's face it, are pretty poor um, on the current version. A football manager whereas in this one they're going to be much more um you know flexible much more realistic much more you know they're going to react better all players are going to react better um the stadiums look great there's so much more going on in the stadiums they're not all exactly the same there's different um in the corner areas and the surrounding of the stadium there's things like burger vans ambulances policemen you know so on and so forth it you know stewards are in it now as well as policemen and something i noticed on the uh on the the video and on the screenshots that you're seeing is players have all different kinds of color boots as the officials like you know it's a, that it's just the little finer details that make such a massive difference in this game and uh, there's a lot coming into it um there's also now look at the stadiums you know you can see i don't i think i don't know i may have missed it um but uh, you know it's a uh, it, it, it's I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting messages continuously about it here. My phone's flashing like crazy. Yeah, I don't. I've missed some of it because I was busy doing some work stuff. But I don't know if you'll actually see this sort of a view in the game or not. I, I missed that bit. But just look at how cool the stadiums are now. You know, they they look pretty awesome. Um, they've given us a much bigger variety of, of stadium and also you've got personalized banners and stuff like that which i think is a great idea you know it is just a great idea and um it adds to the it just really adds to the uh to the atmosphere of the game and the and the quality of it, it it's done they've done a fantastic job with that there's no doubt about it so next up is the is the interface of the game um so many new features that have come in um and i like the look of it i'm glad so glad they've got rid of the uh the basic white skin you know it was really just horrible um and, and i i really disliked it i know there were some people who didn't other people who did you know it's um it's just one of it's you know it's preferred you know it's people's preference but i prefer the darker 
uh, football manager skins. I don't know why. I don't like the really shiny, bright, in-your-face stuff that you get. Um, but the interface for me uh, has been amazing. Been absolutely amazing in the turnaround that they've put in. I also love the fact that they've revamped again the tactic system. There are literally thousands of tactics now you can work with. They've also got new uh, positions for you to work with as well, which is pretty awesome. Um, there's a few new roles. Um, I can't fully remember what they were called, but um, I'll have a little look in a second and we'll discuss that. But there's like you can see there's just you can go from any of the preset formations but it gives those tactical guys out there the ability to you know make their own world beating tactic really and, and that's you know that's something we've been you know we're always crying out for no matter how they change the tactical side of things we always want more because football's evolving day by day but just to list a few of the, uh, the the other features that are coming out, you know, the, obviously the, the beta will be out two weeks before, demo will be out a couple of days before the game gets released. Um, that's, you know, nine, town, nine times out of ten, that is just a given, you know. It, it um, you know, it's... It, it's always been that way for the last, you know, the last couple of uh, last couple of releases. But when it comes to the features that were announced, I mean, there's going to be thousands, I think, that haven't been announced. Like the football boots, all players wearing different boots. Before you had to download an add-on for that. Now it's there. It's in your face, <laughs> you know, basically. Uh, but we've got the completely redesigned user interface in-depth managerial um, style when starting your new games which we'll touch on in a minute because I'm really excited about that it means so much to me for my underdog save which now after seeing the new features won't be with Nuneaton Town unfortunately which is a shame but I have an idea that I did last year which was going from level 10 to the Prem may do level 12 we'll see but this year it's going to focus very much on um, the manager so I'm going to go through as if I would in real life I'm going to get the first job uh, I'm going to put in all the information as I have it now as, a, as an actual qualified coach so I'll put the badges in that I have now but I will start with Sunday League uh, reputation because you know I don't I've not managed a team I've coached uh, I've managed little local teams and stuff like that um, with friends and stuff but I've never managed you know properly in a way so you know we'll go through that in a minute uh, there's four brand new player roles altogether uh, new player preferred moves uh, there's been improvements to the, uh, you know, to the scouting and player searching, um, you know, demographic, demographic, I don't know if that's the right word, but I'll throw it in there anyway, because it sounds like a cool word to say, and it makes me sound a little bit cleverer than what I actually am. Uh, you've got a lot more enhancement for press and player interactions. Uh, you get group issues now, uh, which is cool because again it repli you know replicates real life there's groups in in teams i mean chelsea are often used for player power um saying that certain managers are forced out of the club because the click of players don't don't get on with them and so on and so forth so you've got that to look forward to um like i say in the media interaction there's going to be player uh player tunnel or t team tunnel uh, interviews for TV games and big games and such like, you know, stuff like that, which is amazing. I've wanted that stuff for so, so long, and I'm just so pleased they've put it in there. Um, you can improve your, man you know, you, you, there's improved manager history and player history profiles and stuff like that. Uh, more in-depth job interviews as well, which is good, because they got a bit, 
a bit annoying but you didn't even have to look at the screen when you were clicking what you got before whereas this time you know there'll be a little bit more in depth a little bit more um focus towards you and the club and so on and so forth also going back to interviews which is good if you're managing say in the conference and you get an interview at a league one club they'll ask you why that why should they take the risk on you why are you wanting to move up now why are you this why that you know which is going to be great because i think it gives more scope for interview failures because one thing about fm14 was it was kind of easy to just manipulate the interview um in a way for some some clubs so that kind of takes that out a little bit um and there's new coaching styles and so on and so forth and one of the most amazing features as silly as it sounds for me i absolutely love the fact that when it comes to november the players grow mustaches for the november charity i think that is superb i am so so thrilled that they've done something like that it's just those fine little details that add to your experience um i know there's over six hundred thousand players and staff um you know in in the game altogether and also uh, when i was looking on fm scouts website there's voice chat and video to come in a further patch so that's pretty cool and then of course there's the twitch tv integration where you can live stream and uh, somebody said the other day it'll separate the men from the boys i mean i stream uh from time to time haven't done for a while but i like to stream so with it integrated i may do that more because it's going to take less you know setting up and messing around which is so weird um but it will sort the men out from the boys because those people who go on twitter bragging that they've gone a season and a half unbeaten and they've not conceded a goal for three months and stuff like that Will they dare to stream? Will they dare to stream? That's the question. Now, I'm not implying anything there, but read into it what it will. And those of you who do that and are offended, there's no, no implication there from me. But if the shoe fits, my friend, then you pop it on your little tootsie. Um, so, manager. Manager, manager, manager setup. This is where some serious excitement will occur so when you load up the new game and you get to the point where you want to set up your manager it is very different now you can actually be a training ground manager so basically a tracksuit manager where you go on the training ground you're involved with the training which adds a you know the depth there because it's you that that sort of um you know g giving the, the the sessions and so on and so forth so it's much more involved um and of course there's the new coaching badges i, I was really disappointed last year that you couldn't select what coaching badges you had and you didn't have to take the badges and so on and so forth but in the new one you do you, you can go and take your badges but you know one thing that was highlighted is that if you're off learning your badges you're spending less time with your players so you have to find the balance and you can also now select your attributes which is great because you know you can't just go in there and say i'll have these attributes thank you very much i'll have 20 of everything um unless you use the in-game editor then you could but um that's not my cup of tea really not for tampering with attributes and stuff i've used it for uh, budget amendments when i was getting ridiculous amounts of money in the lower league uh, and it was unfair uh, on the other teams in the league and name changes like Louis van Hals from jan jansen or whatever it is you know so on and so forth um but you get the option now to you can take off from one area add them to another and it's all affected by experience coaching level uh, badge level and so on and so forth so i'm really looking forward to that because you know it gives me the opportunity to select you know my b license which i have 
and you know it gives me opportunity then to use that to go through i mean i i was gonna i was considering to start off with no badge and go through that way um but you know the the thing is with that then it's not real to me i want this to this is gonna be what i would do if i was appointed a, as manager of whatever fc in the lowest division of the wherever and you know it would be the way i would move through my career it will be my tactics my style of play my recruitment policy me it it, it will basically be the closest you will get to seeing me as a football club manager uh, going through my journey going through from hopefully fingers crossed from the lowest level i go from to the highest level i can get to but yeah we might not get there by the time fm16 comes out we might only be in league one who knows but it's going to be an amazing journey i'm going to leave the rest of the features for you guys to have a look at and a look through um you can go to the football manager youtube page and watch the video or you can go to fm scout and other fan based um sites and look at screenshots and reviews of what was said and so on and so forth and of course all the other great I mean, I'm not a great FM YouTuber, but the great FM YouTubers like Work the Space uh, and Benj and all those guys, Football Manager TV, uh, Golden FM, they're all putting out these videos now about the features, and you're going to see some awesome stuff from those guys. So go check them out as well. Um, and that's it from me, guys. So, a little bit of a mini series cropping up, following on from the AFC Inkly save, because. Um, Spoiler alert, I got another job. Mm -hmm. But anyway, guys, I'll leave you with that thought, and I shall say to thee, goodbye, fair maidens and maid, maid, men, merry, bye. <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs>